Hey y'all, and welcome to Tech Fact Friday. The term biotechnology has become quite the buzzword, but what is it really? When you think of technology, it's probably not the first thing that pops into your mind despite technology literally being in the name. When thinking of biotechnology, you likely pictured scientists in petri dishes in a laboratory. And when thinking of technology, you may have pictured a computer or a self-driving car. Biotechnology in the modern sense can range very broadly from researching microorganisms in a lab to developing artificial limbs for people that can read their mind. However, it didn't always look like this. So let's begin our journey learning about the history of biotechnology. Believe it or not, the concept of biotechnology has been around ever since humans began domesticating animals and plants. However, there is a difference between how ancient societies would define biotechnology and how we know it in the modern sense. Prior to the 1800s, the idea and definition of biotechnology related to food, shelter, and animals. For instance, ancient wine fermentation processes would have been considered a form of biotechnology because of the use of microorganisms to make a food product. It wasn't until 1919 when the word biotechnology was used and defined by Caroli Erici as the process by which raw materials could be biologically upgraded into socially useful products through the use of technology. However, prior to this definition, scientists had already been working more deliberately with organisms to do research for the betterment of society. Most of us probably remember having to draw a Punnett square at some point during our education in order to determine inherited genes. But in case you don't remember, Gregor Mendel is considered the father of genetics for his work deliberately cross-pollinating differently looking peas and determining the offspring. He produced his work in 1865, well before the definition of the word biotechnology. Now, you may wonder what a project you did in elementary school has to do with biotechnology, but genetics is a fundamental piece of the biotech field. From the time of Gregor Mendel onward, the knowledge of humans and biology exploded as new discoveries seemed to be made every year. In the 1870s, the interest in human DNA took hold after the discovery of nuclein, now nucleic acid, being separated out from white blood cells, or pus, as well as the discovery of mitosis, or cell division. From there, chromosomes, the genetic structures that DNA builds, was discovered and defined in 1888. But the history of biotechnology doesn't just revolve around genes. Even before the influx of genetic-based discovery, people were observing the world around them to see how the human body reacted to exposure to certain things and wondered how those elements could be manipulated by crude technology for the better health of people. Edward Jenner noticed in the late 1700s that milkmaids who had been exposed to cowpox never seemed to contract smallpox. He theorized that cowpox was essentially a form of smallpox and exposure to the milder cowpox could prevent smallpox infection. In 1796, his theory proved correct and the invention of the first vaccine was born nearly 226 years ago. Almost 100 years later, during the boom of genetic discovery, a second vaccine, this one for rabies, followed. This man, Louis Pasteur, had years before invented pasteurization, a method of removing disease-causing microbes from raw food and drink. That's all we have time for today. Follow along as we continue to learn about the history of biotechnology and pick up the timeline in the early 1900s next time. Remember to share, like, and follow for more content like this. Until next time, it's time for an upgrade, a technical upgrade.